And now, our feature presentation. Five, son, I uh, want to give you ten. Yes, sir. Sure do. Well, that should do it. Maybe. Maybe not. What's the problem? Got a few complaints. People say there's been lots of fizzles. Okay. I guess I just had the wrong people setting things up for me, but I guarantee you this batch is fine, just like frogs. I guarantee. You sure? I already had to dip into my own pocket to make the last batch good. I'm sure. You did what? I had to give them their money back. Hey, kid, this ain't better business time. Now, you better realize that what your friends are buying is seriously illegal. Now, you just tell them to take their lumps and keep quiet. You sure this stuff is better? I guarantee. What you got in the bags will light up the sky. Yeah. Light up the sky. Continue now with Code Red. paying customers to play with you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here, I got seven. I got five. That makes 12. Hiya, Jimmy. Found some more ducks, huh? <laughs> Come on. I gave you your money back, didn't I? Some of them. What you got in there? More duds? These are the real thing. Sure. What do you want? A seal of approval? Nope. Well, then are you going to buy something or not? Probably not. I'll tell you what. How about a demonstration? 
I can hardly wait. I'll meet you at your house. Hey, Mike, uh, before you close up shop, what do you give me for 10 bucks? For goodwill to the basketball star of tomorrow. Bottle rockets, Roman candles, cherry bombs, a few M80s, and uh, sparklers, too, man. All right. Ooh, well, you got it. Later. Hey, you got it, and, uh, here's something from a good buddy. Fireworks? Yeah, and, uh, one of these nights we'll get together and shoot off some of the big stuff. Where'd you get these? Well, let's just say what you don't know won't hurt you, kid. Well, I mean, well, you know, they're hot, right? Illegal? Hey, if you turn into a goody two-shoes on me, I'm gonna have to trade you in for a new pair of sneakers. Well, no, not me, Stan. I mean... Well, this is great, really. Thanks a lot. I mean it. Hey, that's better, man. Stan the man. He moves to his left, to his right. He shoots. Swoosh! Two points for Stan the man. <laughs> Those fireworks look bad. Guess that's all they do. Just sit there and look. Man said they'd light up the sky. Guess it's gonna be a dark night out. You pick anything. We'll try it. If anything doesn't work, you can have the whole box. Free. Free? Okay. I'll make it easy for you. Let's just start with some simple rockets. Operator! Operator! <coughs> 
He's stuck in the office. I tried to get him out, but, but, but the whole place is... Engine one from battalion six. Take it two and a half to the front door. We have a report of a man trapped in an office. Locate it at... About 30 feet in on the left-hand side, but the fire is all over the... 30 feet into building, office at left. Truck one from battalion six. Get that roof opened up over the fire. Engine 23, bring your lines in the west end. I just take it easy, sir. Please. It'll be fine. Okay, mister. I want you to just breathe. Father just needs oxygen. The paramedics will take care of him. I'll make it. I'll make it. Thanks. Give me water. Okay, MCO. We continue now with Code Red.
put off your breakfast is on the table. Call first, Chris. We heard you giving away free breakfast invitations. Oh, yeah. Morning, Mom. We invited her this morning. We've been invaded again. Hey, well, you know where the good food is anyway. <laughs> oh, here, you take mine. Yeah. I'll put some more on. Okay, here we go. Well, who made these pancakes? Your father. Any complaints? Oh, it's Daddy, fine with me. where are you? Oh, I saw him outside, Mom. He said he had to check something out. Oh. He's got to eat and get to school. Well, I'll get him. No, no, don't worry about it. You eat the pancakes, they're terrible when they're cold. <laughs> What's all this? Just some sparklers. What about? Well, they're not hurting anything. Somebody. What's the difference? You're a fire explorer. You should know better. That's one difference. Last night's fire was caused by somebody using fireworks carelessly. A man almost died, and that's the difference. But these are just sparklers. I asked you where you got them. From a kid in school. Did you buy these? Somebody bought them. And whoever sold them also sold Roman candles, bottle rockets, M80s, all kinds of things. I can't snitch on my friend. I'm sorry. Danny, I'm waiting for your answer. Danny, we know that you know a lot more about fires than, than most kids your own age. But the Dad's not accusing you of... Dad can speak for himself. What is going on here? This is a breakfast table, not a board of inquiry. Mom, we almost lost a man last night. And it was fireworks that caused it. Oh. You're all getting on my case because of a sparkler. I didn't have anything to do with last night's fire. Danny, sit down. Danny! Joe. Get back here, Danny. Joe, let him go to school and think it out. Danny is the kind of boy, if you let Didn't him... you hear what happened last night? I also heard a boy who was confused. He's an explorer. He shouldn't be confused. He is he also knows... a kid who is worried about his friends, about, about, about snitching, about being disloyal. I appreciate all of that, but his priorities are all mixed up. I don't disagree with you. I just wish you would try to remember what it was like to be a kid with all this pressure from the, from the peers, from the grown-ups. I've, I've got to get dressed. Now, just one minute, Mrs. Warchick. Hold on there. You know what's bugging me? All those fireworks being sold illegally on street corners. I don't want to see any more buildings going up in smoke. I don't want to see anybody badly hurt because some kid doesn't know what a rocket bomb is able to do. When you're right, you're right. When I'm wrong, I'm right, too. Hey, what's going on, partner? Are you going through something? I don't know. Hey, I got something that'll cheer you up. What's that? Meet me after school, and we'll check out some things that go back. Wait a minute. They're illegal and dangerous, and someone used them last night and almost killed a guy. Hey, that is a drag. But I know a place where there is nothing around. There's not a chance of doing harm to anyone or anything. I don't know, Stan. Oh, come on, Danny. It'll be kicks. I mean, there's not a chance of burning anything but the ozone. Now, are you my man or not? Yeah, but... Don't yell about tomorrow's NBA star. I'll make you my personal manager when I sign my million-dollar contract. See you after school. If you didn't think this was such a good idea, why do you keep tagging along? I'm not tagging along. I'm just trying to talk you out of it. Just lighten up, okay? I mean, all I'm gonna do is set off a couple of bangs in a place where nobody's gonna get hurt. All I'm trying to say is fireworks aren't safe. I don't care where you set them off. But check it out, Danny. I mean, this little bitty M80 ain't gonna hurt nobody. Flicker, flicker. Go. See? Good, clean fun. Yeah, well, 
I bet that's not what that guy said last night after his garage burned down. Oh, man, Captain Bringdown. I mean, watch this action. Stan the man who can move to his left or his right, who can shoot with either hand. Shoots with his right hand. He shoots with his left hand. to it means to belong to be to be loved to be to be accepted no matter what and you danny blake are part of our family now and that makes that makes a bond between us and there isn't anything that you could do that would break that bond chief was right yes yes he was right you were wrong. But Joe still loves you. We all do. Guess I blew it. If we stopped loving people just because they made a mistake, there would be very few of us worthy of love. We all make mistakes. Me, you, even Joe. Stan Ellison's family? Mrs. Ellison is on the way. She asked that you consult with me until she arrives. I'm Ann Marchek, and this is Danny. He was there when it happened. How's Stan? Not good, I'm afraid. What do you mean, not good? I mean, he's a great athlete. He'll heal quick. Watch, you'll see. Not good, are you kidding? I mean, he just broke the scoring record for guards in last week's basketball game. I'm afraid that his basketball career is over, son. What do you mean? Your friend's right hand has received a permanent injury. And it's touch and go as to whether he'll ever regain his vision. Continue now with Code Red. Okay, Ted, so I'll see you at school. Hey, you sit down a minute. I want to talk to you. I want to make sure we got our signals straight. Easy. I find the guy who's dealing the fireworks, and you follow him to the supplier, right? Yeah, that's basically it. Got it covered, partner. Whoa, not so fast. Now listen to me, Danny. Within reason, you help. You know what within reason means? Yeah, that I shouldn't be caught. No, not that you shouldn't be caught. That you shouldn't do anything that's going to put you in danger. Listen, he don't have to worry about me, Ted. Get it clear, partner. Either you agree that under no spelled N-O circumstances do you do anything that's going to endanger yourself, or you're off the case. Okay, okay, I agree. Don't worry, we'll get him. Right, we'll get him. Bye, Chief. Bye, Danny. better. It 
gets to you, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess so, Dad. But doesn't it make you angry? Angry? Yes. Worried. Awfully worried. In spite of all the years I spent on this job. You know, when you're dealing with kids, you can talk to them about fire safety till you're blue in the face, but it just doesn't do any good. Oh, you're getting to find that out, are you? You've got to keep at it. Whenever I send a child to the burn center, I think... It could have been one of my own. It could have been you. Do I worry? Yes. But that doesn't keep things from happening. Tell the truth, Dad. Was I a lot of trouble when I was a kid? Usually... Not more than once a day. You see, and I was the son of a fireman. Oh, you were Danny's age then. Didn't mean anything to you. Yeah, it means a lot now. That's what makes you a good fireman. Following in the footsteps of his father, I hope. Ted, be worried. Get angry. But then, get the job done. On your way, short stuff. Oh, back in the market, aren't you? You see that fire on the news? What are you worried about? Nobody could connect us up to it. Besides, it was an accident. Some accident. Look, are you in the market or aren't you? Yeah, I'm in the market. And I got an idea. Go. There's a lot of kids around here, a lot younger than us. Some of them got good-sized allowances. So you want everything I sell. We split the profits. And you make 50% more than usual. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe that just might work out. Look, I'll tell you what. I gotta restock up, so uh, meet me in the supermarket parking lot. Can you get your mother's car? No sweat. Now, I know you kids enjoy fireworks, but now if they're used by professional pyrotechnicians, you probably have a good show. Illegally, if they're handled by amateurs or the wrong kind of people, you're talking about a major tragedy. Homes get destroyed, and innocent people get hurt, or they get killed. In L.A. County, in July, within one month, there were 368 emergency room treated injuries from dangerous fireworks. Their eyes, hands, and hearing all seriously injured. Most of the victims were kids, just like yourselves. Fireworks are illegal. Well, that means anybody who buys them, sells them, carries them, or uses them is breaking the law. So please, don't get in that position and maybe even risk hurting yourselves. Look, let's not beat around the bush. Let's talk to you all like you're grown-ups. You all heard what happened to your friend Stan, the star of the basketball team. It's not an easy way to go. Fireworks are exciting. But they should only be handled by people who are specially trained in the field. So, the three of us would like to invite all of you to a special fireworks display, which we are giving a week from tonight. And we all hope you can come. How you doing, partner? Okay. The doctor gave me permission to see you. Oh, great. Great. I brought you some candy. Oh, far out. Just what I need. A few more cavities. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, great. Just great. Good. You believe me? Nope. <laughs> yeah, me neither. The truth is, I, uh, I feel bad. 
real bad. Me too. I wish I could do something. Do some magic, Danny, and uh, make my eyes and my shooting hand work again. Alakazam, you're healed. <laughs> I knew you could do it. <laughs> Who sold you the fireworks, Stan? You want me to tell you so you could buy some? Not a chance, man. One friend wasted is enough. No. I want to know so the fire department can bust them. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, it's a little late for that. Yeah, but he's probably selling them to other kids, and it's not too late for them. I'm sorry, babe. Blowing the whistle on somebody is not my style. He sold it to me. I bought it. <laughs> sure did buy it, huh? End of chapter. Listen, I'm not talking about style. I'm talking about your life, Stan. Nobody forced me to buy him. Stan did it on his own. Snitching just does, does not work for me. Oh, sure. That's real, real great. Stan the man won't snitch on anybody. But maybe that creek can sell fireworks to some other kid and it'll backfire in their face, too, and blow their whole life away. Yeah, well, that's real stupid. Hey, I don't like anyone calling me stupid. Look, I'm sorry, okay? If you need anything, just let me know. I gotta go. Hey. Yeah? You're right. I mean, here I am trying to be so brave and so cool. And my whole basketball career is wiped out. Just because of some firecracker that backfired. Okay, Danny, his name is Mike. He goes to our school, and I know that he works as a bag boy in the supermarket on Britain. Thanks. Bust that sucker. You got it. Accident to the star, firemen are all over the school. We should unload it all in the next day or two. Well, uh, I'll go for it, I guess. Uh, you come by the motel by yourself alone, and I'll load up your car. What's up? Well, I can't explain now, but you see that guy getting into the Lincoln over there? Well, we gotta follow him, and I can't do it on my bike. You're putting me on. No, I'm telling you. You see that delivery boy over there? Well, his name's Mike, okay? And I just saw him load some fireworks into his car. Maybe they're just groceries. He just got him out of the trunk of the Lincoln. I've been watching him. Now, please, we gotta follow the Lincoln, okay? He's the supplier. Oh, yeah? You think that guy's the fireworks man? Okay, Danny. Let's play cops and robbers.
are you doing? Are you crazy? Not crazy. Careful. Hey, Mr. Fireworks Man! Catch that kid! He wants to bust hold you! Hold it, hold it, hold it. Now, what's this all about? This kid wants to tell the fire department about your stash of fireworks. Who says I got any? Then let him go. Let him make his call. Well, we could go in your room and, uh, work something out. late 45 minutes and he knew i was going to drive him to the explorer meeting he wouldn't miss that for the world where do you think he could be well, i'm afraid to even guess well joe will be home in about 30 minutes maybe he'll have some idea what did you say the last place he was well, school i school. think school school uh -huh. you know he did have me call the hospital for him to see if he could visit his friend stan just hoping stan would tell him who sold the fireworks hey that's a good thought let's go well call me when you know anything because if he's missing much longer joe will want to call the police and so will i bye mom You just sit there quiet, kid, and nothing happens to you. You got it? Well? Look, Masters, I got my car outside. I can take the whole load. You don't have enough money. I can turn it over and bring you back the money in one day. Trust me. Listen to this. A 16-year-old punk wanting me to trust him. Okay, you tell me a better way out of this. You got him ready to turn you in, and you're stuck with this stuff unless you trust me. Your move, partner. Well, Danny was supposed to be home over 45 minutes ago. He split about an hour ago. What can I tell you? You can tell us exactly what you told him. <sighs> I, uh, I thanked him for the candy. You know, stuff like that. Hey, my man. Look, I know you don't know us. And you got no reason to trust us, but we're Danny's family, and we love him. And I don't know what we'd do if anything happened to him. What do you mean? What could happen to Danny? Come on, Stan. Stop playing innocent man. I figure you told Danny about the bust of people that sold you the fireworks and got you burned. Stan, did Danny tell you? Yeah. He did. You guys don't really think that Danny's in any kind of trouble, do you? Yeah, we sure do. Okay, Danny asked me who sold me the fireworks, and I told him, and he split. And I don't know anything else, okay? Hey, you sure that's it? Stan, Danny may be in trouble. Now, come on, get off it. Tell us exactly what you told him right now. Mike, is it? What are you guys doing? Giving you a chance to talk to us or to the police. What? Are you guys nuts? Okay, knock it off. Who's your supplier? Of what? Look, I'm just a kid trying to work for a living. Yeah, selling illegal fireworks that burned out an auto shop and almost wiped out Stan Ellis. You got the wrong guy. Stan's ready to testify against you in court. What do you think about that? What? You... Okay. Let's take a drive down the police station. Come on. Come on. Look, I didn't do anything any other kid wouldn't do. I'll tell you what. I'll give you one minute to tell us who and where your supplier is, okay? I can't do that. My brother's easy. I'll give you 10 seconds and counting. 10. Wait a minute. Nine. Give me a break. Eight. Eight. Sit there, don't move. And as soon as he unloads these and brings me back the money, then I'll turn you loose. Danny's over there? I don't know, but it looks like we're gonna have to check it out. Well, if he isn't there, we gotta be careful we don't get him hurt. You got any ideas? Yeah. Hey, look. 
I think he'll know if we get to him first. in that trunk, don't you? You a cop. No, but that's just who you're gonna meet. Tell me, was Danny back in that room with the other guys? Why should I tell you anything? Because I'm taking you to jail. We're gonna tell the police that you're either with us or against us. And it's gonna go on your record before you see the judge. Now, what is it? What's your choice? What is it? Now, you just sit there quiet, kids. Dolph? Yeah, it's me. No, no, no. This market's run dry. Yeah, I'll be moving out tonight. Yeah, I'll be down in two days and we'll work out a new territory. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's fine. Yeah, it's just fine. Yeah, I'll see you. Everything's just fine, right, kid? My name's Sad Bell. I don't know you. What do you want? A guy named Mike said you could sell me some stuff. I don't know what you're talking about. But you want me to shout it so the neighbors can hear me, mister? I'm talking about fireworks. Did you hear that or you want me to shout louder? Shh. Lower your voice. I just got rid of my inventory. Well, then get some more. Cash in advance? Uh, yeah, sure, if you got the stuff. Okay, come on, let's see the color of your money. Jim! Where's he going, big guy? What is this? Where are you going? Of course, you're going, buddy, right here. Danny, you okay? Yeah, I'm perfect. But, you know, it sure could take you guys long enough to get here. We continue now with Code Red. Before we go out, Danny, I, I, a couple of things I want to say to you. First of all, I think you showed a lot of initiative and courage. You did really well. And I hope you now know that there is a difference between being a fink and helping a friend. Yes, sir. And number two, I think if we had known the facts, any one of us could have talked to Stan we might have avoided the whole problem. Yes, sir. And number three, this is the most important of all. 
We all love you very much. Get it? Got it. Good. Let's go, gang. The kids and the crew are waiting for us, okay? All right. Hey, how you doing, partner? Pretty good. Hey, your eyes are okay. Yeah, they're almost perfect. And my hand is healing more every day. Fantastic. I hear you've been some kind of hero. Well, sort of. See, I even got the number of the guy out of town. The police are after him, too. <laughs> okay, gang, for your listening and dancing pleasure tonight, we shall now proceed with the evening's events. Which means we're going to show you a fireworks display that's going to knock your socks off. That's right, and arranged in a place and form so that it won't endanger any life or property. And set off by a specially trained maestro. Your humble pyrotechnician, me. All right, you guys, do your thing. I'm Julie Adams with a safety tip from the Los Angeles City Fire Department. Every year, 300,000 Americans are hospitalized with burns. 12,000 people die. Treating a burn immediately is extremely important. Apply cool water to the burn for several minutes. Only cooling will stop the burning process. Then wrap the burn loosely in clean cloth. Get medical treatment for anything other than minor burns. Remember, only cooling stops the burn, so apply cool water immediately. Please, be careful.